Guys, we have something pretty serious to talk about because $499,999, yes, half a million dollars is the asking price for this Mark IV Supra. I get it, only 36 were made in 98 with the twin turbo and the Targa and a manual transmission, but that price is absurd. And yes, because the market is so crazy, this is a six figure car, but prices for these Supras are getting officially out of hand. So in this video, let's dig into why this is happening. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> After the Mark IV Super run ended in 1998, it went MIA for 20 years. But it seems because of the Supra's triumphant return last year, it's injected consumers and enthusiasts with this newfound appreciation for the precursor of the Mark V. And yeah, 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 we've all heard the comments about the Mark V Supra being a BMW, and all the complaints about the non-functional vents. But you gotta hand it to Toyota, because there were at least 43 2020 Supras at SEMA this past year, more than any other maker model probably ever at the largest aftermarket car show in the world. So all this talk about the new Supra has subsequently fueled the prices of the Mark IV. But what makes the Mark IV Supra so special? Well, first off, I don't think that there's an import that is as legendary as the Mark IV Supra. And one of the main reasons for this is that infamous 2JZ GTE motor that is instantly recognizable by any true JDM fan. And the amount of power that these things can handle is unrivaled. <laughs> <laughs> Snack, crackle, pop, baby. For years, the Mark IV Supra was any tuner hero's wet dream. An enthusiast knew that it was capable of taking on anything and everything on the road. But it didn't become an international icon until one specific scene in the original Fast and Furious. And that's where Dom and Brian lined up in one of the most iconic races of all time. And in turn, turning every single kid into a Mark IV fanboy. Now guys, let's look at the numbers for a second. From 1993 to 1998, there was a total of of 11,239 Supras sold. But if you're interested in twin turbos only, there were 326 hardtops, 3,712 six-speed Targas, and 2,939 auto Targas sold with the infamous 2JZ GTE engine. And all the rest were naturally aspirated. But why does everybody want the twin turbo? Because the engine was a bulletproof three liter twin turbocharged inline six that utilized sequential turbochargers not parallel. Now that was a game changer because not only did it improve on power delivery, but it also cut down dramatically on turbo lag. And the transmission that came with the twin turbo Mark IV Supra was a beast. It was a six speed get rag and it could handle as much power as you could throw at it. Now back in the 90s when these twin turbo Supras were new, they put out a solid 320 horsepower, which was good for zero to 60 in 4.6 seconds. But here's the thing, it's not uncommon to see Supras pushing well over a thousand horsepower and still be reliable enough to daily drive. Now, I'm not gonna get into why the three layer steel head gasket and the forged steel crankshaft are some of the main reasons this motor loves boost without blowing its top, because I wanna look at prices for the Mark IV. Since January 2016, there's been 74 Supras total sold or listed on Bring a Trailer. Now, as you can see here at the beginning, there weren't a lot listed, but what's absolutely fascinating is this is the first Mark IV that sold in May of 17 for $51,000. And then you can see non-turbo, non non-turbo, but then all of a sudden in January 2018 is roughly when they started promoting the Mark V. And look at what happened. Twin turbo, twin turbo, twin turbo. To all of these up here, there's about 20 of them that sold in the last two years or so, with this one going for $128,000. And as we can see, it's a 10,000 mile 1993 twin turbo with the get rag six speed manual and beautiful car, but this one isn't the one that brought the most money. In fact, there was one that sold at RM Sotheby's for $173,000 that actually had more miles on it than this 10K one. So 
The market has continued to go up. This was sold in March of this year, and it is absolutely bonkers how much money these cars are bringing, especially since there was really no one selling them early on in 16 and 17. So I think it's a good time for the ideal question of the day. What are your thoughts on the Mark IV Supra market? Do you think it's gonna continue to go up, kinda stay steady or, or decline? Let us know down in the comments. As for this dealership, 500K is absolutely dreaming. And they're obviously doing it for marketing so they can get attention. And when you list a Supra for half a mil, attention is what you're gonna get. Just like the attention you'll get by driving one of these cheap cars that will make you look rich. Or check out what YouTube recommends you watch next. Oh, and if you haven't yet, or you're new here, please subscribe, but either way, you can't lose, and as always, keep living that ideal lifestyle.